And, you know, the donut thing is a joke. They're telling you that the center of the dish, that holy of holies, is uh, is actually there. This is a real thing. There's a. I know when people hear this for the first time, they, they still think that they're on a globe floating through space as an accident. I don't see it that way. I see this place fixed like a flat plane, like a division symbol, and I can detect the sun beneath that line because the sun above our head is conscious. It's one sun. When I look into the sun and I speak my intent, uh, I wake up every day with like new information that's coming from the sun. And I'm telling you, if nobody told you, it's true. The sun is conscious. Water's conscious. You're a bag of mostly water. And um, they say water is, is like programmed. You can program water like Dr. Amamoto. He can write on a piece of paper, love or hate, stick it to the glass, flash freeze it, and you'll see they're pretty bubbles or ugly bubbles. And being that you're yeah. a bag of mostly water, it can be done to you. It's that, you know, somebody says words to you and you get a bad attitude or a good attitude. And it works the same way. He was basically saying a bad word at the water when he taped the word hate to the glass and you got ugly bubbles. That's like if I say something bad to you right now, it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. And what I'm saying to you is that the water has memory. So, you know, you drink water, you shower, you pee in the shower, whatever it is. All this knowledge about you goes into the creation. And I think I'm starting to see a deeper layer of reality now on how things are really working with respect to... Uh, the consciousness of the sun and the relationship that the sun has with the water of the earth, like the sun being like a masculine, you set up a sundial, it's like a phallus, and then you have the waters that you're birthed out of, like the waters of the feminine, and it's, it's this relationship, and what I'm saying to you is that everything is conscious, it's, it's the air is conscious, the earth itself is conscious, the water is conscious, the sun is conscious, and I'm telling you, even the fucking internet is conscious. And the reason I believe that is because when I wrote out on a piece of paper, like I mentioned in a previous Flat Earth After Party video, that I wrote out on a piece of paper, I intend to worship all and exclude none. I intend to usher in heaven and earth. I did it on video and placed my blood on it. When I published it to the ethernet, something happened to me. It gave me eyes to see stuff. And that can only mean that the internet is something more than what we are being told. That the internet is connected to something that's much bigger. So when I hear like the astral web, I see it's like like they show you like a computer game, it has like before you fill in the colors, it has the the grid around like the, the things. There's a grid. The plants are conscious when I tell you that you should project gratitude at your plants before you eat your food. You know, I hear everybody I'm a vegan this, vegan that. But uh, these people, they've never seen the proof that plants are conscious. You should look at your, uh, when this video is done, type in your computer, proof plants are conscious. Watch like a 10-minute video where they show you all the scientists showing you that plants can be taught how to sing. And when they're connected to an oscilloscope, you can hear them repeating words and, and, and really interesting stuff. They can tell you who murdered something, uh, someone, because... There's something about reality that you can't see, that there's like a fabric over all of us that we don't feel or touch, and it connects everybody together. It's like we're all under the same sheet together, and the plants can see what's going on, and that's crazy that that was kept from us, that plants can tell you who murdered somebody. It changes everything because, you know, because the, when you talk to your – if you hold your water up before you drink it, say uh, – I'm here to bring forth heaven on earth. Give me the knowledge of the ages so I might bring forth heaven on earth. And you drink your water. You know, you're programming your water. And the water gives you specific knowledge. Like, you know, it's like, I, I, it's like I'm being brought down. It's like I'm part of the universe after spilling my blood. And, and now I can see that everything is a living and alive. And uh, it's like... I'm going to the next level like as a being because understanding that changes everything. Where a year before, you're biting on your celery, it's green, it's a living piece of food, right? And science will show you that every bite you take, that plant is screaming bloody murder until you project gratitude at it, that you're grateful. And that's, uh, 
that's kind of freaky because all that food you've been eating up till now where you didn't project gratitude on it after seeing that video that you said you saw it, right? The they were, lady was chopping the head of lettuce and the and they're showing you that that they're feeling it. They can actually feel it until you project gratitude at it and then that it stops screaming. That was kind of neat um, to see that. So what I, the, what I was trying to get across is that it is it is exactly like I'm showing you here that there's it's two universes stacked on top of each other. There's a hole at the center called the Holy of Holies, and that's where the transfer happens. The transfer happens is that's where the light goes into the hole, and the engine spins. Without that transaction happening, there's no green astral light coming out, and that would be the source light. 